once I've imported my schedule um, from the external source where I created that my next step is to associate a search set with each of these tasks uh, depending on the task ID that I associated with the individual with the individual tasks um, and so the whole purpose of actually creating these search sets was to automatically uh, create a link between my tasks which contain my task ID and these names over here which are actually my task IDs so if you guys remember each one of these corresponds to a particular uh, object in the in the um, or a set of objects of the same type in 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 my model so um, usually this is just for demonstration purposes what you see over here in terms of tasks usually you have a huge set of tasks and each one is associated with a different object so just to make our lives easier we need to automate this process and one way of automating this process is to create you know this search set with this given name format uh, which is which is the same as the task ID that we adopted now in order to attach these to the tasks according to the task IDs you got to go to uh, auto attach using rules so click on that and then select the map timeline of tasks from column name to selection sets with the same name click on that go to edit and make sure that this refers to user one because if you remember from the previous video user one is where we actually um, had the mapping to the task ID you can also have you know a synchronization ID instead but yeah just make sure that when you import your schedule uh, from an external source so when you import your CSV file um, make sure that you map user one to your task ID uh, so we'd already done that previously so we can select user one and then now it's going to be map is going to be mapped to the selection sets so these selection sets over here um, okay with the same name okay so user one to contains the task ID and whatever task ID uh, is similar to these selection sets that we have um, it's going to be associated directly with the with the task so let's see what happens click on OK click on apply rules so if you guys now look under attached we've got you know these objects are now attached to this task so 611 these are the ones highlighted in blue so the form work basically for the columns are attached to form column one that this seems uh, you know accurate and then these props you see um, they're, they're highlighted in blue now are attached to column props and so uh, this is the method of auto attaching uh, your uh, objects in the model to particular tasks that you import.